we have the Ravens and the 49ers. And <laughs> two teams that <laughs> not doing so hot this year, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, the horrible. Uh, it kind of. Yeah. Instead of this one? Uh, it definitely was. Well, I mean, difference is 49ers won. This game instead of, you know, they can beat they can beat Baltimore when it doesn't really count, I guess. Well, the lights that too, yeah, they didn't turn off the lights, so that's apparently that affects the way they play a game. <laughs> Sometimes they make it fun of you if Yeah. We we discussed this uh, a few weeks ago with the 49ers that we felt um that their defense were underrated this year because I think it's because of their bad record going on right now. And well, I mean, they did just get another win to help them out, but 49ers defense is actually pretty solid. It, so shutting down Justin Forsett doesn't really surprise me. Uh, what did kind of surprise me was despite Steve Smith senior supposedly not supposed to play this game actually had a pretty damn good game. Uh, and he's been having a, a damn good year. I mean, yeah, yeah. Guy had four broken ribs, and he comes out and still has a good game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try to trade you for him, son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. I think Kaepernick finally felt the fire under his ass where he had it was do or die time that it's either you start performing or you're not going to have a job anymore at this point. Um, which is hard to say because I don't even know what his backup is, but you know, I, I think 49ers is, we're going to get to a point halfway through the season. It's like, well, it's yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I think we did. <laughs> but point is, I, you know, once you get past the halfway mark and your quarterback can't perform anymore, you know, you got to do something. You got to try to salvage the season any way you can. And I think Kaepernick was solely feeling that. And he definitely came out there and made really good adjustments for everything. And, you know, notably so. And it, I wouldn't, I mean, it's easy to pick the 49ers being the weakest team in that division. But that being said, they're still better than a lot of other teams, even in the NFC alone. So you can't necessarily count them out. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of even going with records with the 49ers, uh, the Ravens are the official worst team in the AFC right now. 
Yeah, they have the worst record. I, that is something I would have never predicted this year. They might actually get a pretty low draft pick there. Yeah. I, I don't even know where the Ravens to adjust. Who do you pick up? You know, you have Steve Smith. You know, is what is your number one? Joe Flacco. I don't know. Do you replace Joe Flacco? Is, uh, is, I That's true. I think what's beyond that is. I think beyond even that is uh, after winning the Super Bowl, they're paying him too much to just drop him at this point. Like, to be honest, he's just getting paid too much to... It's honestly kind of a, the same thing that the Bears are in with Jay Cutler. You can't just drop the guy because you're paying him so much. You know, what, he's gonna, you're going to pay him that much money to sit on your bench? You're not going to do that. Yeah. Exactly. They don't even have Steve Smith. They basically have to build as a team, they have to build as a team man. Uh, I don't know if they're that far away from being a contender again because you know, sometimes they can be can be too competitive. But they definitely need a few pieces to to get back to that Super Bowl form, I guess. They might never get back to that. Not for a while, I don't think. Well, look how long it took them to get back to Super Bowl form since the first time, you know, that they won it, so. The team that was in the divisional round of the playoffs this last year, though, so I've got to think that, you know, a, a few adjustments, you know, they just have to improve it. Honestly, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think they're in they're in midst rebuilding right now too. You know, they they already realize that they're rebuilding and they're just trying to make the most of it as of right now. No. Well, it's not going to have much of an effect because realistically, neither one of these teams are going to make the postseason. So it's kind of not really a huge. And that sounds really shitty to say. And I'm sorry for fans of both sides on that one, but it's true. I, I mean, it's just just being realistic. I, both of them are the bottom of their divisions. Both of them not, you know, having a, a great leap or bound to try to rise up to even a wild card spot so it's just kind of what it is that's the best way to put it you know and I think uh, we can <laughs> I think with that uh, you can continue following our feed with Facebook and Twitter. The links to both are in the description. Hopefully, we can see what these teams can do next week. Because, hey, they might surprise us. They always could. You know, it always happens every week to at least one team. So, with that, definitely see you for next week. And always make sure to watch Late Call and the rest of our videos with our recaps.